The Aurora Police Department has a new chief just as it deals with a new stain on its reputation. In the latest incident, officers handcuffed an entire family, including children, because they thought that car had been stolen when it turns out it was the right plate number, but from a different state. So now more officers are under investigation, and the new chief is apologizing. First of all, I want to again apologize um, to the family of that traumatic incident that occurred. And I just, um, it was a horrific situation. It should have never happened. And uh, that mistake has now, you know, caused more damage uh, to the trust in our community. You pulled my kids out on a ground and handcuffed them like they was criminals. Handcuffed me like I was a criminal. You dehumanized us. And of course, the Aurora Department has already been embroiled in the controversy over the death of Elijah McClain, the incident, and how it was handled by the department touched off protests all over the country. The department also came under fire when a drunk officer passed out behind the wheel of his patrol car, but he was never charged, even kept his job. CBS4's Jeff Todd has been covering the issues in Aurora, and Jeff, the newly named chief, has a lot to clean up. Jim, the statement from the community is only getting louder. This memorial stretches for about four blocks. Now, with Chief Wilson able to take permanent command of the department, advocates want to see more change, and some of that change will be led by citizens. Right now, we're seeing mistake after mistake being done by Aurora PD. It's only been about six weeks since a task force was formed to look at changes the Aurora police need to make. It can't be the blue squad against the residents. It has to be all of us working together for the safety of the city of Aurora. Several members of the community task force said they were surprised that the city council picked Chief Wilson to continue to lead the department. I can speak for the Aurora branch of the NAACP. She's been a good partner. She has fired quite a few officers since she's been interim chief, so that was something that did um, catch my eye and I, I did have a lot of respect for it. The hope is the department can reach benchmarks in new policies, officer recruiting, and regaining community trust. And maybe it isn't a problem with training. Maybe it's a problem with the culture in general. I think with the support of Chief Wilson, we'll be able to see a lot quicker changes than people are expecting. Especially after the weekend incident that saw a family handcuffed during a stolen vehicle investigation. We have a homeless problem in Aurora. We have a human trafficking problem in Aurora. We can't even address these issues because this precious little girl is in our psyche being laid on the ground and being traumatized for the rest of her life. Today, Chief Wilson told us that she believes this permanent appointment will be like a reset for the department. She says more changes are coming, and she says that the department, quite frankly, has to evolve. We're live in Aurora tonight. Jeff Todd covering Colorado First.